I'm going to read uh, parts of the New York State Commercial Drivers Manual. I'll link this page. Um, I'll go over the contents and section one introduction in this video. So the New York State Department of Motor Vehicles Commercial Drivers Manual, table of contents. The first section is the introduction. The second section is driving safety. The third section is transporting cargo safely. The fourth section is transporting passengers safely. Uh, the fifth section is air brakes. The sixth section is combination vehicles. The seventh section is doubles and triples. The eighth section is tank vehicles. That's inspecting tank vehicles, driving tank vehicles, and safe, safe driving rules. Chapter nine is hazardous materials, and that has eight sections covering things like the intent of the res regulations, hazardous materials transportation, who does what, communication rules, loading and unloading, bulk packaging, marking, loading and unloading, hazardous materials, driving and parking rules, hazardous materials emergencies, and hazardous materials glossary. Uh, chapter 10 covers the school bus. Chapter 11 covers pre-trip vehicle inspection test. Chapter 12 is basic vehicle control skills test. 13 is on-road driving. Um, it says here beginning February 7th, 2022, uh, entry level driver training requirements. So, um, I'm not going to read all of that, but, uh, so this is relatively current, sounds like February 7th, 2022. That's, uh, so let's go to the next section. Section one, introduction. This section covers commercial motor vehicles, CMV commercial driver's license, CDL, and commercial learner permit, CLP classes, endorsements, and restrictions, commercial driver license and commercial learner permit requirements, commercial driver license tests, additional requirements for bus drivers, driver disqualifications, other commercial privilege rules, international registration plan and international, uh, that's IRP, and international fuel tax agreement, that's IFTA. All right, 1.1, commercial motor vehicles, CMV. You must have a commercial driver's license, CDL, or commercial learner permit, CLP, to operate any of the following CMVs. Any single vehicle with a gross vehicle weight rating GVWR of 26,001 pounds or more. A trailer with a GVWR of more than 10,000 pounds if the gross combination weight rating GCWR is 26,001 pounds or more. GCWR is the GVWR of the power unit plus the GVWR of each vehicle in combination. A vehicle designed to transport 15 or more passengers, excluding the driver, or a vehicle defined as a bus under Article 19A, Section 509A of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law, VTL. An altered vehicle commonly known, commonly referred to as stretch limousine that has been modified to carry nine or more passengers, including the driver. Any size vehicle that requires hazardous materials, placards, or is carrying material listed 
as a select agent or toxin in 42 CFR Part 73. Federal regulations through the Department of Homeland Security require a background check and fingerprinting for the hazardous materials endorsement. So for the hazardous materials endorsement, you must get a background check and fingerprinting. Exemptions. Drivers of the following vehicles that otherwise meet the definition of a CMV are exempt from the CDL requirement. A vehicle owned and controlled by a farmer that has a GVWR of more than 26,000 pounds and is used to transport agricultural products, farm machinery, or farm products within 150 miles from the farm. Off-road motorized construction equipment such as motor scrapers, backhoes, motor graders, compactors, tractors, trenchers, bulldozers, and railroad track maintenance cranes are exempt when operated at a construction site not accessible to the public or when operated on a public road open to unrestricted public travel for limited distances at less than normal highway speeds, provided the equipment is not used in furtherance of a transportation purpose. Such vehicles, when occasionally driven on a public road to reach or leave a construction site, must be accompanied by escort vehicles or in some other way separated from the public traffic. Fire and police vehicles engaged in emergency operations in New York State. Military vehicles or combination of vehicles operated by members of the armed forces. Personal vehicles, including rental vehicles, up to 26,000 pounds GVWR, when operated strictly and exclusively to transport personal possessions or family members for non-commercial purposes. Uh, looks like this was produced December 2021. So therefore, let me update what I said. Uh, this is... Uh, current through de for December 2021. Um, section 1, Introduction. Figure 1.1, New York State Class Descriptions. So A, minimum age 21, vehicle type combinations such as tractor trailer or truck trailer. The vehicle descriptions, gross combinations, weight rating, GCWR of more than 26,000 pounds provided the gross vehicle weight rating GVWR or GCWR of vehicles being towed is more than 10,000 pounds. Endorsement codes. See page two for explanations. H with two stars means C hazmat manual. CDL-11 for requirements. M, N, P, S, T, W, X with two stars. That's also C, hazmat manual, CDL-11 for requirements. Commercial learner permit, CLP, limited to M, N, P, S, W. All right, I'm not reading the B, which is uh, 21, singles such as heavy single unit truck or bus. And single C CDLC, 21. If you're 18, no interstate commerce cannot transport hazardous materials or operate a school bus. That's CDLC. Singles such as single unit truck, bus, or stretch limo with four stars. That's an altered motor vehicle commonly referred to as a stretch limousine having a seating capacity of nine or more passengers, including the driver. Uh, I may stop part of the way through this and pick up in another part another time. Figure 1.2, New York State endorsements. So uh, let's just see if we can find the ones listed under Class A. H is hazardous materials. M is metal coil, 
N is tank vehicles, P is passenger transport, S is school bus, T is doubles, triples, W is tow truck, X is tank hazmat. New York State Restrictions, Figure 1.3. Uh, let's see, uh, A, temporary visitor, med, cert, exempt. B is corrective lenses. Um, just trying to look and see. E is no manual transmission, equipped CMV, uh, commercial class only. E1 is automatic transmission. Um... F1 is hearing aid or full view mirror. G is daylight driving only. K is CDL intrastate only. Uh, that's no operation outside New York State for commerce. That's for commercial class only. L would mean no air brake equipped CMV commercial class only. M means no class A passenger vehicle. Um, uh, let's see. N1 is no vehicle design for 15 or more adult passengers. N2 is no vehicle design for eight or more adult passengers. O and O1 well, O is no tractor trailer CMV, and O1 is no tractor trailer CMV truck not over 26,000 gross vehicle weight rating. That's with uh, the both of those were uh, commercial class only. Um, okay. One. Dash two, commercial driver license and commercial learner permit classes, endorsements and restrictions. CDL and CDLP classes, endorsements and restrictions are based on the type of CMV driven. The type of CMV is determined by the vehicle manufacturer's GVWR for single vehicles or GCWR for combination vehicles construction or use. Under the New York State VTL, CMV weight classifications are based on the greater of the following weights. Manufacturer, manufacturers GVWR or GCWR, registration weight or actual weight of the vehicle and load. CLP CDL classes endorsements and restrictions therefore correspond to vehicle weight construction or use as shown in figure 1.1 1.2 and 1.3 on page 1-2 1.3 commercial driver license and commercial learner permit requirements New York State driver licensing standards comply with the federal laws related to commercial driver licenses, CDL, and commercial learner permits, CLP. To get a New York State CDL and CLP, you must meet the following standards and requirements. 1.3.1 Legal Presence Requirement U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents must provide proof of citizenship or unrestricted lawful permanent residency at a DMV office. Once you have met this requirement in a DMV office, you will not be required to prove your legal status again. Applicants from a foreign jurisdiction must provide proof of your legal presence at a DMV office for every transaction. Please refer to Form ID 44CDL 
for a list of all the documents that you may submit as proof of U.S. citizenship, lawful permanent residency, or temporary legal presence. 1.3.2 Residency Requirement You must be a resident of New York State to be issued a New York State CLP or CDL. One proof of residence is required to apply, transfer, renew, and amend your CLP CDL. Please refer to Form ID-44 CDL for a list of all the documents that you may submit as proof of New York State residency. A driver holding a CDL issued by another jurisdiction who moves to New York must apply for a New York State CDL within 30 days after establishing residency. A new resident may apply to exchange a CDL issued by another jurisdiction for a New York State CDL reciprocity. However, to keep a hazardous material, hazmat endorsement, you must pay the test fee. Take and pass the hazmat written knowledge test. A score of 80% is passing and pay for and pass a background investigation. See section nine, hazardous materials. Okay, let me read that again. To keep a hazardous material, hazmat, endorsement, you must pay the test fee. Take and pass the hazmat written knowledge test. A score of 80% is passing. And pay for and pass a background investigation. See section 9, hazardous materials. 1.3.3, age requirement. Class A, you must be at least 21 years of age. For Class B and C, you must be at least 18 years of age. But if under 21, you can drive a CMV only for intrastate commerce. That's within New York State. Cannot transport students in a school bus and cannot transport hazardous material. 1.3.4 Language Requirement You must be able to read and speak the English language well enough to converse with other people. Understand highway traffic signs and signals in the English language. Answer questions from officials. Make entries on reports and records. And take skills tests as required for getting your CDL. Again, this is December 2021. 1.3.5 Self-Certification Requirement Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, FMCSA, regulations require all New York State CLP or CDL holders to certify with the Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV, to the type of commercial operation they perform or expect to perform. All CLP or CDL holders must certify to one of the four categories listed in Figure 1-4. Self-certification driving types. Prior to the issuance, amendment, or renewal of a CLP or CDL. In addition, depending upon which driving type you self-certified to, you may have certain medical requirements that apply to you. An explanation of medical requirements can be found in section 1.3.6. For non-accepted interstate NI, you must be age 21 or over, um, must not have a K or A3 restriction. CDL holders with a medical variance must have the V restriction. CDL holders with a H or X endorsement may select this driving type. 
current U.S. DOT medical examiner's certificate required. That's the only one I'm reading. You can look at the other three categories yourself. Figure 1.4, self-certification driving types. Interstate commerce is when you drive a CMV from one state to another or a foreign country between two places within New York State, but during part of the trip, the CMV crosses into another state or foreign country or between two places within New York State, but the cargo is part of a trip that began or will end in another state or foreign country. Intrastate commerce is when you drive a CMV only within New York State and you do not meet any of the descriptions above for interstate commerce. I will pause there and Lord willing, I'll pick up with the rest of this in another video. Thank you.